the, and that's the reason, that's the beauty about having those kinds of institutions in place. Okay, we are live. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 7, and uh, so early in the morning, we're having a political discussion on the table. <laughs> We are discussing the three branches of government and how they uh, work together uh, to create the democratic space that we uh, enjoy. And of course, um, we cannot avoid but uh, do some critiquing of uh, our current president, former presidents, and presidents of other countries that uh, say they're democratic. But uh, anyway... Anyway, the beauty of homeschool, you can talk about anything uh, on the dining table um, that will help uh, your kids understand the many things that they study. Okay, and in the dining table too, we can talk about our faith, like what we do every day, right? Okay, so here we go with the gospel for today. It's a little long, so, uh, you know, bear with me. From St. Luke chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. One of those at table with Jesus said to him, Blessed is the one who will dine in the kingdom of God. Uh oh. He replied to him, A man gave a great dinner to which he invited many. Okay? So he gave a big dinner. When the time for the dinner came, he dispatched his servants to say to those invited, Come, everything is now ready. But one by one, they began giving excuses. The first said to him, I have purchased a field and must go to examine it. I ask, consider me excused. And another said, I have purchased five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to evaluate it. I ask, consider me excused. And another said, I have just married a woman, <laughs> and therefore I cannot come. The servant went and reported this to their master. Then the master of the house, in a rage, commanded his servants, Go out quickly into the streets and alleyways of the town, and bring in here poor and the crippled, the blind and the lame. The servant reported, Sir, your orders have been carried out, and still there is room. The master then ordered the servant, Go out to the highways and hedgerows and make people come in that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited, who were invited will taste my dinner. So here is a parable where our Lord tells us about the kingdom of heaven. See? We too have been issued an invitation to dine with him eternally in heaven, in the eternal banquet, the never-ending celebration. See? A banquet is a, banquet is a, a celebration. And uh, our Lord gives us this image right, of what heaven can be like. So a banquet is supposed to be <clears throat> excuse me, a joyful occasion, right? There is feasting, there is eating, there is music, there is singing, there is there are festivities. There's, that's what a banquet and a celebration is all about. Now our Lord here is trying to make us imagine that heaven is like that. Heaven is a never ending celebration. Everybody is happy. Everybody is celebrating. And the king who had invited his servants, I mean his, uh, his neighbors and uh, his friends uh, to be part of that, well, he wanted his Banquet to be filled by everybody, the people that he invited, right? But look what they did. They started giving excuses, right? One said, oh, I just bought a field. I just got married. I just bought oxen. Please excuse me. I cannot join you in this banquet. Right? Yes, Shabbat. What do you mean by lame? What do you mean by what? Lame. Lame. How's that? Lame. Like blind lame. and lame? Oh. Okay, well, it depends on what the use of the se in the sentence is. But can I ask you later? Can I answer you later? Okay, so anyway, um, so we give, 
we too give plenty of excuses why we cannot join this banquet, right? This, the banquet invitation was already given to us when we were baptized. So by virtue of our baptism, God already invited us to be part of this banquet. Okay? But all throughout our life, we have the opportunity to either answer, respond, uh, and accept the invitation and actually go to, to go, go to this banquet, or we can make up excuses. We can make up excuses. The excuses would be that, well, uh, I know I have that appointment to go to that banquet, like this guy who bought an oxen, got married, or whatever it is. They already knew they had the invitation. It's not like the, the, the master just uh, invited them impromptu right there and then. No, they knew they had that invitation. But instead of, instead of actually putting it in their calendar, okay, they forgot about it. They did not pay attention. They did not make use of that invitation as a goal. They did not make the invitation a goal for themselves. They actually did not pay attention. And then, when the appropriate time came, when the, when the uh, affair was there, all of a sudden, they had an excuse to give. Right? Because from the very beginning, they actually were not intent on going to that party. They were not actually intent on going to honor that invitation. And you know what? We sometimes do the same thing. Okay? Right? We had already been invited to this banquet when we were baptized. And we are reminded all the time. See? It's like, it's like we, we always have that Google invitation, right? That pops up. The notification that pops up on our computer that says, Okay, in one hour you have this appointment. And then again it comes up after 10 minutes. In, in the next 45 minutes you have this appointment. I do that myself, right? If I have an appointment, I put it on my Google calendar. <laughs> And I have those notifications there that tell me in an hour, in a day. First, it will start, you know, I put it there two days before, then one day before, then uh, several hours before the appointment. I keep reminding myself through these notifications of Google, right? Because I am intent on going to that appointment. I intend to go to that appointment. Now, the same thing is true in our life. We have to have a Google calendar or something of the sort. To remind us about the invitation we received at our baptism. That the goal is heaven. The goal is heaven. The party is not on this earth. The banquet is in heaven. That this earth is going to be a passing journey. That the more important party that we are dressing up for, we are gearing up for, we are preparing for, is actually in heaven. And it is very important that we always keep that goal in our mind. It is important that we never lose track of that goal, that the only purpose and reason why we are passing through this life is for that ultimate goal, which is heaven. Which is heaven. So we should have some kind of a Google Calendar reminder <laughs> that is stuck in our heads here, right? That in every day of our lives, we get reminded, oops, you have an appointment in heaven. You have an appointment in heaven. Okay? Except that we don't know the time. This is a heaven, the invitation for heaven is a calendar that is, that is dateless. It's got no time because we don't know the time or the hour. But yet, it is important that we remind ourselves that we have that appointment in heaven. That appointment with destiny. That appointment with our ultimate destiny which is heaven, is there waiting to happen. It is waiting for us to happen. So we should have like a Google Calendar in our minds to always remind us the appointment is coming. Heaven is my appointment. It could be in an hour. It could be in a day. It could be in three years. It could be in five years. But never lose sight of that appointment. Never lose sight of that appointment. From the time you wake up in the morning... That can be your Google Calendar reminder. When you wake up in the morning, you give thanks to God and say, Oh, thank you, my Lord, for another day. I know I have an appointment with you. One of these days, it could be today. <laughs> See, the appointment could be today. We never know. 
Let's be prepared for that appointment. And before we go to bed, the same thing, right? My Lord, thank you for a beautiful day today. I know I have an appointment with you. It's coming. I don't know when. It's coming. But I want to remind myself about that appointment in heaven. That banquet. That banquet that we have. The appointment in heaven will come. And, and in, the day of, uh, in the day and age of technology and apps, eh, it is a good thing to have a spiritual app running in our minds all the time and never lose sight, never lose the perspective of why we are here on earth, of why God created us to be here on earth. Okay? And again, can we review the question in the catechism? Why did God make you? God made me to know Okay, to know Him, love Him, and serve Him, and to be happy with Him forever in heaven. Catechism point uh, number one. <laughs> it must be in chapter one of the catechism, right? But that is uh, something we have to remind ourselves of all the time. You see, folks, that's why it's very important to memorize the catechism, because all of those formulations are going to get ingrained in our brain. And that's like our Google Calendar reminding us of that heavenly appointment, that heavenly banquet when it comes. Okay, so uh, what's a good Catholic practice for us to uh, keep in mind Okay, for today? God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Okay, number one. Number one Catholic practice. Never lose sight of the goal. Always keep that appointment in mind. The appointment in heaven. Okay? Never lose sight of that. And all throughout the day, you remind yourself of that goal. Okay? Reorient your perspective. Reorient your perspective. Ask yourself this question. Every time you have to make a decision or a major decision or a major consideration. Ask yourself this question. Will this lead me to heaven? Okay. Will this action lead me to heaven? Will this decision in my life lead me to heaven? Okay? It's a good question to ask ourselves so that we don't lose our appointment. Right? We don't lose that, that, that goal. It's like you're driving and you have a GPS, right? And you have that uh, every turn you make, you're being told, okay, now you turn left, now you turn that. Right. Well, is this turn going to lead me to my, de to my destination? <laughs> is this left turn now going to lead me to my destination? Sometimes I question the GPS, right? Because sometimes the GPS makes you go to a circuitous route instead of having a direct line. So many times I ask myself, wait a minute, should I really turn left or right here? Because I think it's, it's better if I go straight. That is if you know the way, right? So this, that question, will it lead me to heaven, can be like our GPS uh, 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 navigation, right? Ask ourselves, will this action lead me to heaven? And number three, let us always struggle. Struggle. Life is not a bed of roses. See? Life is not easy. We'll have many struggles along the way. We should have that attitude of a soldier who is always fighting. We always fight against the devil. We fight against temptations. We fight against our, our evil tendencies, our laziness, our complacency, our selfishness. There's so many things to fight against. But let us not forget that the struggle has to be there. Okay? So the perspective, always having our appointment in heaven in mind, okay? then correcting our course all the time by asking the question, will this lead me to heaven? And number three, by constantly struggling, struggling every day. Those are the steps, basically, that would get us to heaven. So heaven, folks, keep that in mind. We're talking always about the last things these first weeks of November. And that is our commentary for the gospel today yes joe don't forget to go to the cemetery okay joseph is again reminding us we still have time to go to a cemetery and pray for the dead and uh, you don't have to pray an entire rosary by the way uh, when you go there you can pray anything uh, it is a good it's also good to pray the response so the response for the dead uh, prayers for the dead you can find that in the missiles and all that so remember to pray for the dead it's a spiritual work of mercy Okay, folks, 
Glad to see you here. Uh, hi, Digoy. Hi, Roel Rico. Wow, a classmate of mine from uh, Sacred Heart Academy many decades ago is on the broadcast today. Uh, good morning or good evening to you folks, wherever you are. Anyway, we're off to Mass. Nice to see you guys. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.